Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So if this picture looks familiar, it's because I have already done the sketchbook tour for this picture. It was done in Inktober for 2018 and had this video footage for forever and haven't gotten around to editing it, which seems to be my, <laughs> my life. But anyways, here it is. It is Coraline Jones with the other mother sewing uh, buttons onto her eyes. This is probably one of my favorite Tim Burton movies he has made. I mean, don't m get me wrong, Nightmare Before Christmas, love it. But this one I could watch every day, just put it on in the background and watch it every day and not get tired of it. I love the story and the music is just creepy enough. <laughs> the characters are awesome. And yeah, so for Inktober, since it's kind of that creepy month anyways, I decided to do a little bit of fan art of this movie. Um, because it was filmed quite a while ago, I don't remember too much about the process. I know that at the end it was perfect and then I skipped to, well actually I guess I backtracked. I backtracked to the previous picture before this one and colored on it but forgot to lay my messy page under it. So some, I think it's like warm gray or something, got onto the other mother's arm that's holding the needle. And yeah, I wasn't too excited, but it's just enough that it's not terrible. I mean, I guess I could smooth it out or cover it up. It's just, yeah, I'll leave it as it is. <laughs> um, other things. I don't remember too much about the process, like I said it was a long time ago, but I was spontaneously listening to the audio of the real time video and it was hilarious because I forgot I colored this around Christmas time because once again I was late finishing the sketchbook, but anywho, different story. <laughs> And I forgot that my nieces were here. And so throughout this video, and I think it's about this point or a little bit later that they start coming in and out of my room. And my oldest niece just comes in, I need your purple marker. And I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, I just need it. I was like, okay. So she leaves for a few seconds and she comes back, but then she stays. And then her sister comes and then her brother comes and then their mom comes, so I've got all these people in my room while I'm trying to finish a picture. And it's so funny because my oldest niece, she just wants to play with my markers and I'm like, no, you have to be, like you're a big girl, but you need to be a really, really big girl because these are really expensive markers and Aunt Shell Shell, which is me, what that's what they call me, Aunt Shell Shell doesn't want you to ruin her markers. And I have so many other cheap art supplies that they can use, but of course these are on my desk and I tell them they can't have them. Those are the ones they want. And so I finally later, if you watch the sketchbook tour, I later let her use my markers and she did surprisingly well. Like she didn't crush the nib, she didn't just drown the page in ink. She did really, really well for, I think she's four? Yeah, she was four last year. And just the conversation behind it, and it was so funny. And at one point, my her little sister, she just randomly hands me measuring cups in my room. Just hands me measuring cups, and she's like, "Here." I was like, "Do I need these for coloring?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, you need these for coloring." So <laughs> later on, you'll see the measuring cups in question. And oh, it was just so funny. I don't remember hearing anything from the baby, but I know all of them were in here and it was just so funny to listen to. And yeah. So I don't think I have much more to say. So enjoy some music and the little pop-up of the measuring cups. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.